Hey Jolly Babes, welcome back to another The Inspiration Challenge. This was the picture and they just put it in grey and we were meant to add the colour so it was a new twist to The Inspiration Challenge but I actually wanted to keep the grey in and just add a little bit of that carnival colour. Stella will be joining us at the end of the video um, but she um, had an appointment to get her hair done today so yeah, so that's why I'm doing it on this uh, magnetic pop sticks. I know, you can't get the stuff can you? <laughs> so obviously I didn't have any circus themed plates so I kind of used the next best thing which is unicorns but then I obviously took the horn off so it would look more like um, just horses that you'd get at the carousel which I realised only afterwards that I didn't actually take the horn off this horse <laughs> um, but if you're using gel polish it doesn't really matter um, because what you can do is um, you can actually just get like a cotton pad or a brush, whatever you're more comfortable with, and some nail polish remover, and you can take it off this way. Um, but yeah, but it's a lot easier and probably less messy if you kind of just take it off before you stamp it. So I'm trying to get rid of it as much as possible. So I'm getting out another plate. I can't believe I haven't reviewed this. This has literally been sitting in my room for months. I got it because I loved it. But yeah, so I thought it was time to... Uh, Get this bad boy out and give it a go. So I'm going to use this image here because I kind of wanted to have that layered effect that you get with the carousel. Um, obviously some the horses are kind of next to each other so that's what I am doing with this one. Um, and obviously this one's got wings so again just took the wings off prior stamping and there you go. And this plate has become so handy. I'm so glad I purchased it because of these straight lines that you can use. So I'm getting rid of the bits that I don't want. And then you have got that perfect straight line for like the carousel pole. So that's what the other nails look like. And I thought it would, this, um, I think it's Banggood like gold sticker was perfect to add that like perfect gold carousel look. Um, and obviously, it's a lot easier just to put a nail sticker on. So you want to carefully peel it off its backing. Obviously, it's self-adhesive as well, so it'll just stick straight onto your nail. Now, obviously, I have got the ease of the fact that I'm doing this on a fake nail. If you were to put this on your own nails, you'd want to pre-cut it before you added it. So just pre-cut it around your cuticles. But you can cut it off real easily, as you can see here. And then just sort of tuck in any bits. And there you go. So then I wanted to add a bit more colour. So I actually got the dotted little dots here. Again, got rid of the bits that I didn't want and put it that along there just to add that bit of like glam to the carousel nail. So Stella has finally joined us. And can I say your hair looks gorgeous? <laughs> so I actually, this is the end look and I went across with the dotted look going across the gold sticker just to sort of like blend out that obvious line. So yeah, so simple um, design. Uh, I hope you liked my interpretation of it, Jelly Babes. Uh, I really do enjoy taking part in these um, inspiration challenges. So that is it for today. Um, please press that free subscribe button and take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.